Hello everybody, my name is Virus Lord, but I am back to bring you guys another video. Today, we will be looking at two builds of Windows um, 98. Today, we're going to be looking at build 1602 and build 1658. Now, if you're wondering, Virus Lordable, aren't there any builds that were 5,000, that were 1,500 and stuff? Well, there's a problem with that. I There were some builds for that. I had the files for them. However, in both virtual machines that I've tried, they both crashed. They both had this error saying that user fault and user something. It had something about like that error message. And unfortunately, I just could not get my hands on those. I could not do those builds for you. So I'm like, oh, this is a bummer. So I might as well just skip all the way to 1600. So here we are. As you can see, it's starting to call itself Windows 98. No longer will it call itself Windows Memphis. Here we go, when this is the Beta 2.1 series. This is a Beta 2 build that we're looking at right now. Here we go. So there's Windows 98. Here we go, so that's the, when, so as you can see, it's all calling itself Windows 98. We have the Microsoft logo at the bottom. Now, I believe this is very, very, very close to the uh, to the actual year when Windows 98 was released because this is the bio state the bio state I would believe here it says the bio state is October 4th 1997 so that is almost a year before Windows 98 was to be released now I had to go into safe mode because it would not load up into normal mode so here's a look at what safe mode looks like in Windows 98 this is a pretty cool thing here we go so we got this little tab over here. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's the channel bar. Okay, so we see the channel bar here. All right. So here we go. Set up the Microsoft Network. We have Windows Internet Explorer. It has a different icon. Instead of it saying the Internet or Internet, it's now Internet Explorer, which is very nice. So now we're going to see if we can get a connection. Here we go. Let's see if we can get that. So I'm going to use my local area network because I don't have a modem set up to my computer. No, I don't have a proxy server. That's a little different, I think. Yep. Here we go. So we're going to head up. Cannot open Windows site. Connection with the server cannot be established. Okay. So can we go to Google.com? Let's try that. Oh, okay. So I guess we can't use the internet here. Okay. Probably because the network adapter is stopped here. So as you can see, the start menu looks a little bit more different. It now has the Windows 98 on the side. The games are pretty much the same. Some of the icons look different. And Calculera has changed a little bit. It looks like they bumped down the font a little bit. Or the size of the keys. And now they're not bolded anymore. So here we go. There's a couple new things in Internet Explorer there. We've got System Tools. We've got Disk Defragmenter. It's got a different icon than we usually were used to. This has sound as well. We have some accessibility tools. Netwatcher Windows Tune-Up. We have that. And we have a Welcome to Windows. These are AOL and everything to set up uh, internet services. So let's go look at the properties. You can see it calls itself Windows 98. Build 1602. So that's very nice right there. So let's open this up. So here, my computer looks a little bit more different. It's starting to use that Internet Explorer shell. And as you can see, it does not open multiple windows whenever you click something new. So whenever you click something new, you can actually, it actually stays in that window. So it doesn't, so you don't have a bunch of open windows there. So that's really cool. So let's scroll all the way down. There's our FAT32 converter right there. So can I open the internet site? Yeah, so this is basically, it displays it kind of like a web page. If, um, if I do, if, um, you say like that. And that's how it would be for a while, I believe. Paint still looks the same. Nothing too different about paint. Smiley faces is always changing. There we go. Has a different icon, though. Hmm. So let's see. Scan disk. Here's a reg edit. Reg edit still looks the same. Nothing different. Let's see. Set debug. Okay. All right. That looks, um, hmm. It's interesting. All right. So, yeah. That looks pretty cool. Let's go to the Win version. Okay, now it's starting to say Windows 98. So it's going to copyright your 1999, 1998. I, um, excuse me. There we go. Let's go to our programming files. Here's our, all our programs that we have installed. So we have webcast right here. So they have the TV viewer. So as I mentioned, that this, this is something new that they had on Windows 98 where you could look at TV channels on here, which is pretty cool. 
and uh, doesn't want to open up task manager for me here. Well, um, okay. I'll see if I can actually go to the Windows folder and open it myself. Let's see if we can find it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Where is task manager? Here we go. Here we go. Where is it? There it is. Still has the same icon. Still has the same look. Nothing's changed about task manager, unfortunately. Mm. All right. Let's go ahead and see. I think that's about it, guys. Well, that's it for this build of Windows 98. Now let's go check out the next <laughs> formed an illegal operation. Okay. All right. So let's go check out build 1658. Let's go head over there right now. All right, we are in build 1658. So nothing pretty much significant to change. The only real thing, oh, actually there is the, um, here we got the setup. The setup's starting to look more like Windows 98. Uh -huh, getting a little too ahead of myself. Now this build was compiled on December 18th, 1997. So about um, two months after the previous build. And then we're getting very, 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 very close to the release. So the next video will be about the retail of Windows 98. And we will be seeing the little service pack. The uh, second edition. The first edition and the second edition. So we're going to check that out. So let's go through the setup. The setup looks relatively the same. Nothing very much has changed. So it hasn't asked us for a product key, which is very nice. Because we don't need a pro we don't want a product key right now. So it says, yeah, here's our internet channels. I just hate that emergency startup disk. I don't want to do an emergency startup disk, so. That still has the Windows 3.1-esque window thing on that little thing right there. So if you guys saw the little line there. So, here we go. I'm going to do that. Please sit back and relax while Windows 98 installs on your computer. Which is very nice. Okay. So I'm going to make a quick cut right here. All right, we're in. This is the beta 3 build. So this is a beta 3 build of, of Windows. Here we go. Let's uh, hit it right up. So as you can see, it is 1658. So we know that about that. So apparently a new thing is it now has the Windows 98 shutdown screen. So, okay, that's cool. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna skip that because we've already seen that with Microsoft Explorer, as always, Microsoft pushing Internet Explorer to us. Alrighty, so if we can um, speed things up, because huh, this is going a little slow. Sorry about the slowness of this, guys. <laughs> Apologize for that. All right, let's, uh, looks like it's starting right up. Here we go. Come on, can you start up? And it's going right back into the setup. Okay, so now it's looking for any plug and play hardware that we might have on this computer. So I'm going to make another cut right about here. So it should come up right now. There we go. So estimated time 10 minutes. Here we go. We're starting on to the setting of the following items. It would. St I'm pretty sure that window would stay relatively the same to for for almost all of it actually. It's been that way since Chicago, I believe, and it's uh, and it stayed the same until now, which is uh, when where we have Windows 10 right now. I think it stayed the same during setup. It's done the same thing. Nothing. Nothing too different, so that's okay. That's okay for me. All right. All right, setting up Windows Help and the MS-DOS applications, configuring system settings. So this is very slow, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Because I really want to get into the operating system already. So here we go, unknown device. Found a new hardware. And an estimated time is less than a minute, so we are almost done. Microsoft Stream G Sync to Sync Converter, okay. This is some new stuff I have here. This um they didn't do this in the last build actually, so that's um different. So unknown device. Some of the icons have changed from there, I I believe. That's um some, some new things. Okay, so installing the software, okay. Yeah, some of the icons are different from the setup from like right here. They never show I never saw these messages during the last or during the other parts of the setup. Alright, so we're gonna restart the computer. Now, I want us to restart. Here's our setup screen. And we're right into the operating system, finally, after all that long work. So, still hasn't changed Microsoft networking. Nothing there. 
Here we go. So, <laughs> build driver information database. All right, Windows 98. Come on, stop giving me problems. We want to go unknown monitor. Okay, come on. <laughs> Windows 98, we just want to get to the good bit. Come on. <laughs> Killing me, man. All right. Alrighty, here we go. Starting up. All right, so setting up uh, so, so this Microsoft Explorer 4.0. Okay, so desktop update, font pages express, default channel setup. Okay. I never saw if the channel setup actually worked. <laughs> I, I don't believe it works already. I don't believe it works right now, but I mean, uh, maybe on my own time, I'll probably test that out and see if that works. <laughs> if it does work, I mean, I'd be surprised. Here we go, Windows Internet Explorer. Here's the win the welcome button. There's our little tour, and it's just opening everything up. Oh my god. Okay, so it just opened everything up. Here we go. Here's our Windows 98. It's just opening up too many things at once. Okay, thank you, Windows 95. I mean 98. 95 wasn't that this bad actually. So register now and discover Windows 98, tune up your computer, release notes, and then the beta guide. So it's still in this beta phase, as you can see. And it's going to open up the beta document, I believe. So as this computer sluggishly um, tries to open stuff, <laughs> I don't remember giving it too many, too much memory on this computer, so... Uh, okay, let's so restart your computer. <laughs> no, I don't want to restart the computer, but thank you. Um, Get up there, please. Okay, here's the get connected. Let's go set up with my existing local area network. No, I do not have a proxy server. This it didn't ask us the last time for this actually, for the for that one maybe because it wasn't safe. One. So it's taking us to Bing. An error has occurred in the script on this page. Error has occurred. Oh, there's Bing. Bing looks very nice. <laughs> oh, the joys of using an old uh, an old browser in a new operating system so <laughs> channel guide so it's trying to get us to use the channel guides let's go to google let's go something simple there we go all right google google looks um very bland honestly let's go to youtube let's see what we can do on youtube let's see i cannot open okay so you can't open youtube unfortunately all right so that's the um channel guide and stuff very nice. Let's see what C. Let's go to properties and see what this is. Here it is. Build 1658 right there. I almost gave it a gig of RAM. I can't believe it's running this slow. The Windows update um, icon has changed. That's very nice. File directory not found. Okay. So there we have Outlook Express right there. Everything's really slow though on this one, unfortunately. Accessibility. Wizard, communication, style up, and direct cable, games, games are still the same, nothing really changed. System tools, we still have the drive converter, disk cleanup is something new, system file checker. Calculator, looks the same from the last build, nothing new. Still has the Microsoft network there. Oh, and there's, um, down there, those are the little, um, I guess your shortcuts on the taskbar to pin stuff to pin the things to the, to the taskbar so that's where it came up i never saw that in chicago i think that's new here i believe so we got so, oh, so we got game controllers and we have internet so that's some new stuff accessible users is another thing those things are new those weren't there all right let's go to the c drive see what we got here all righty let's go all the way down hmm there's some new things that i'm starting to see right off the bat i don't see some things. Um, registry. Registry looks the same. Oh, it's okay. So I can't access the uh, um, <laughs> the actual task manager. So that sucks. Okay. Oh, here it is. And it still looks the same. <laughs> Nothing different about task manager. So Telenet. Okay. So there's the um, there's new things. Here we go. Here's the Winver. So it still says Windows 98, which is very nice. Alrighty. There we go. So Minesweeper looks the same. <laughs> I can't. I don't know why they took off the the graphics. Looks a little worse in this. I have no idea. It was better in. I think it was Chicago that had it. And 3.1 that had it a little better. Oh, here. Let's set up Outlook Express. This is what Outlook Express would look like. Here we go. 
You see, here's our inbox. Oh, my name. Okay, no, I'll cancel. Yes. So I have two inbox, two things here. So it's think it's welcoming me to the Outlook Express. So can my mouse? Can you not, please? There we go. Let's go to properties. Let's see what's in here. Oh, the background looks different. Okay, so that's um different. It's starting to look like the Windows XP one. That that tab isn't called Plus anymore. It's called Effects now. Can't I can't move the slider, unfortunately. <laughs> Only option of 16 and two colors. Okay, that's very nice. Alrighty. So I think that's just about it. I think I've covered everything in this operating system. Oh, excuse me. Alright, so I think I've covered everything I've needed to cover here. Oh, they finally fixed the the net the notepad thing. Um, it used to show the text icon instead of the notepad icon, so it's pretty cool. Alrighty, but I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me. And please, if you guys want to support the channel, hit that like button and share my videos with other people. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all the support you guys have been giving me. Virus Learnable, signing off.